Hey guys, this video is going to be something a little different than I usually cover on my channel, and I'm going to be talking about an actual friend of mine, Matt, or if you guys only know him by his channel name, Sup Matto. He has been a huge influence on this channel and the Borderlands community as a whole, and it's a shame that he has decided to take a break and the community will not be the same without him. Also at the end of this video, I will touch on the recent trend of the hashtag Boycott Borderlands 3 movement, which seems to really be picking up steam on Twitter, and I'll just go into all my thoughts about that and just try to break everything down in a short format. So if you haven't heard, Matt made his return to YouTube after two weeks basically of a break to update his followers and the community about his current situation. He let people know that he had decided to take a hiatus from YouTube and content creation after private investigators were sent to his house. They also were the ones that shut down his Discord, but he was the one that said he deleted his Twitter by his own free will, no one made him do that, and that he doesn't really know how to move forward with content creation. He did say that he got multiple copyright strikes throughout his channel, but now there's only one left. He doesn't know if he'll ever come back, but he did have some nice words to say about me and friend of the channel Epic NNG. Since then, some big channels have covered Matt's story, including The Quartering, Sid Alpha, Upper Echelon Gaming, and Legacy Killa HD. I don't know how much I want to talk about my personal relationship with 2K, but back in February, 2K Games, one of their representatives, reached out and wanted me to join their creator marketing, which was just sending emails and updates, basically the press points about new things they were coming out with and a lot of Borderlands news, which I graciously agreed to. Since then, around the same time as Sup Maddo's videos were claimed, I had a manual copyright claim on one of my older news videos as well by 2K. But I'm not really sure where this leaves my relationship with 2K. I get it's really no hard feelings. The video was probably, I would say, copyright safe, but I'm not going to go through the whole process of fighting it just yet unless it becomes a bigger problem. These strikes do expire after three months, so mine will be up in October. Going back to Submato, I actually had a video uploaded and ready to go live yesterday right before Submato uploaded his video. But then, obviously, Matt's video came out and I decided I wanted to rework this video and give you guys some background and cover some more details between Submato and I. Trust me, I heard all your comments, mentions, and DMs that you guys sent me about what happened to Matt, but I wanted to wait until there was actual information from Matt himself before I made any statement and gave my thoughts and opinions. So Matt and I go all the way back to close to a year ago, we had both started to gain traction in the Borderlands community at the same time, making videos that were not just Let's Plays which seemed to dominate the community at the time, and we were more news based. Nothing against people that make Let's Plays, they're a really big part of the community, and I think they do their job really well, and the people that do make them are really really good, like K6 and Joltz. So Matt was pretty established at the time and had been making videos forever while I was still pretty new and growing. He was the one that reached out to me originally to work together on a video and he was also the first person to publicly reach out and acknowledge that other Borderlands creators can exist and support each other. Since then we have done three collaborations, one on my channel and two on his, but we talked a lot more than anything we made public. We talked about thumbnails, lore, and news that was released for the game. I know people like to think that there was competition between us and always tried to compare and make problems or beef between us, but that could really never happen. Matt would even go into my comments and respond to trolls and was an overall great friend and amazing content creator. He was always looking out for people that he was friends with and was just really, really smart and good at what he did. So since Matt released his video giving his side of the story, there's a new hashtag that's been trending on Twitter, that's hashtag Boycott Borderlands 3. And a ton of creators have jumped in with their thoughts and opinions. For me, I'm not going to boycott Borderlands 3, and the actions of Take 2 or 2K do not reflect the product that Gearbox has created. It's not fair to place the blame on Gearbox for this, and Gearbox has so many great employees that really do love the community and probably didn't want to see this happen like all of us. I'm grateful for everything that Matt has done for the community, and I guess this will be a situation that's updated as time goes on, but if you are interested, there's a lot of interesting stuff that's coming out about the community, leaks, and how Gearbox has dealt with it in the past. I don't want to say too much because a lot of it's still unconfirmed, and I don't want to 
honestly get myself in trouble with this company, especially when we're so close to release. Honestly, it's still really hard to talk about. It's a pretty sore subject, and I know a lot of you guys were excited saying Matt has passed the torch on to me, and yeah, I don't know how much more I want to get into this, but that's where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share. Subscribe for your go-to Borderlands news, and I will see you guys in the next one.